Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do this look right here. It's like a lavender look. Almost smoky eye. And it really brings out brown eyes if you have brown eyes. And I don't know what it does, I don't know why, but just like the um, lilac color eyeshadow just makes brown eyes pop. So I'm going to sh be showing you how to do this look today on this eye. Um, okay, so let's get started. So first you want to take um, any concealer or primer. I don't have primer, so I'm going to be using Revlon Color Stay Concealer. And it's just this one. It looks like a lip gloss applicator. And I'm the shade light pale light I think okay so you're gonna dab one little dot in your crease and then dab it around with your finger and evenly spread it around all of the lid and up here too all the way to your eyebrow now your eyelid isn't greasy from like everyday oils so your um, eyeshadow will stay on longer so now I'm going to be taking this lilac color by MAC it's called Digit and it's just a satin color really really light purple and I'm going to be taking a really, really small brush by Estee Lauder, and I'm not sure what number it is. It came in a free gift kit, but it's really, really small. Really, really tiny. And what you're going to do is get some of the digit on your brush, and you're going to put it right in the inner corner of your eye just just like this on the bottom and on the top and you want to make it really really dark and really dramatic it's not going to look really weird because it's going to be really dark like if you're afraid that your makeup will be really harsh because you're putting so much on don't worry because this is a really, really light color. So I'm just going to use my mirror down here. And also what you're going to do is bring it around the top. So like this. Just as thick as your brush. Just a really thin line across the top. Try and get it as dark as you can in the tear duct area. And if you ha if it's really messy right here, just use your finger and get all of the excess powder off. So now you have that lilac color in the inner corner of your eye right here and all the way up there. So now what you're going to do is take a dark eyeshadow for this for the outside. I'm using um, Black Tide by MAC and it's like just um plain black but with silver sparkles in it. I don't know if you can see but there's lots of sparkles in it. It looks like a night sky almost. But that one's called Black Tide and it says it's a velvet color. So I'm going to take a brush that looks like this and it's skinny and I'm I think it's just a regular eyeshadow brush. This is from um, Quo, the Shoppers Drug Mart brand and it's a definer shadow brush it says on the bottom so what you're going to do with this brush is take the very tip see how there's only eyeshadow on the very tip and just 
go like this. Like you're coloring something in up and down with like a color pencil. Just really lightly on the dark like this. And what you're going to do is take your brush and put it on the out outer corner of your eye. Kind of like you're putting on eyeliner. And you're going to need quite a bit because you want to make it fairly dark. And try and keep it on the outside. Just keep it on the outer half of your eye instead of the inner. Don't go like all the way like um, a normal eyeshadow or eyeliner because we are going to be using eyeliner later on. So now that you have that on the outer corner of your eye, you're going to take a really fluffy brush. I'm just using um, a um, blending brush by Lee Zwatier. And you're just going to do brush this over the black that you just did to make it look not as harsh and more faded out. Especially where it ends, right, like the part where it first starts right here. You want to make that really faded out. So just brush your brush everywhere so it's like not as dark anymore. And now you're going to take a liquid liner or a gel liner. I'm using gel liner. Um, I'm using... Black Track by MAC and it's just the liquid liner or uh, gel liners from MAC the black one and so you're going to take a really really skinny brush like this I'm just using a paintbrush because I don't have a thin makeup brush for eyeliner but this one works perfectly fine you just need a really really skinny brush and what you're going to do is dip the very tip in just like this just up and down just dip it in because you only want the you don't want a lot for this part so what you're gonna do is take your liquid li or gel liner and just do a start from about right here halfway between where your lashes start and where your tear duct is and start drawing a line outwards I have to use the mirror to do this but I'll show you guys when I'm done. See how it starts like halfway there and you're going to follow through all the way to the edge of your eye but don't make it winged out. Just follow the like your lash line almost to the very end. And you want to make it really really thin um, at the very start. Now that you have your gel liner done, you're going to just fix it if you have any mistakes. Mine is a little bit thick right there, so what I'm going to do is take my finger and just wipe it along the line so it gets thicker. So I'm just going to do that.
Now that your um, eyeliner is okay, you're going to take a um, eyelash curler and just curl your lashes like normal. Make sure they're fairly curly. Now you're going to take any mascara. I'm using the Falsies by Maybelline. And just apply it as usual. You want to make sure that you have quite a bit of mascara on and you want to make sure that the outer lashes stick out a bit and you want to make them look really, really volumized. So I suggest getting a volumizing mascara that also makes your lashes look really long. Falsies works pretty well for me. Now that you have your mascara done, you're going to take a regular black eyeliner. I'm using the um, Basic Black by New York Color. You can use any black eyeliner, it doesn't really matter. So, what you're going to do is lift up your eyelid. Hold on, I need to switch. Lift up your eyelid, and just like this. And that's it. Hope you guys liked it. It's really quick and easy, like before school, if you want to do something that's not like your regular makeup. And it really makes brown eyes pop. I love it.